and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cassandra and I am about to share with you where are all the places to go social dancing in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So if you are a social dancer, you dance salsa, you dance bachata, zuki, zumba, uh, anything else, you just like to bust a move, um, this is the guide to where to go. Because I know when I got here to San Juan, originally I was like, where? <laughs> Where is the salsa dancing? It seemed like this very mysterious thing to try and tap into the salsa scene or the dancing, which was shocking to me because I was like, well, it's Puerto Rico. Like the conception I had in my head was there was just gonna be <laughs> dancing everywhere, which actually it kind of is. Um, but also it's really helpful for you to know where to go on each of the days so that you don't just find street dancing because street dancing is more prominent i would say like you can find salsa music uh, pretty much anywhere. You can find it in the grocery store, you can find it in the CVS, you can find it in the Walgreens. I will say though that this guide in particular, this video that I'm making is specific to the San Juan area, the metro area. If you're going to be out and about on other parts of the island, that's probably a different video uh, because this is just the metro area. All right, so the first thing I'm going to just like get on the table that I think is the most important thing for social dancers is that there's no other style of dance other than salsa here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, bachata, no. Kizomba, no. Zouk, no. Tango, no. Just put your desire to dance any other style on hold and appreciate the salsa that the island has to offer. If you are traditionally a different style of dancer, it's like your preferred dance and you dance salsa, um, I really invite you to just recognize that while you're here on the island, you are surrounded by some really incredible dancers. And so at, at first, like it might be really frustrating because you're like, well, I just want to, I want to dance some bachata, you know? Uh, but soak up the experience for what it is and take everything that you can with you while you're here to dance salsa, right? Because it's it's such a unique experience dancing here. There's so much passion, there's so much excitement, so much joy, so much energy. Almost every single place has live music. Um, it's honestly so unique, but it's also a really important thing for you to know coming here to dance in San Juan is that you're dancing salsa and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's your only option. Um, the tiny little caveat that I will give you is that every once in a while, a DJ will put on one to four bachata songs the entire night. So you might get one or two bachatas that will be from the DJ in between sets from the live music. It's certainly not going to be a 50-50 mix or a 60-40. No, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. You will get what you get, which is live salsa. And then every once in a while, you might get one or two bachata songs thrown in there as a goodwill gesture. My Zouk and Kizomba folks, you're going to have to create your own social <laughs> with your friends <laughs> uh, because going and finding that socially will be challenging. So now where to go salsa dancing. So I'm gonna first walk you through like where to go and then I'm also gonna include what you can expect in each of these places, like what kinds of shoes, footwear you can expect to bring, um, if you can bring water or not, cost, etc., etc. So on Sundays, let's just start at the top of the week. On Sundays, there are two places to go. You can go to De La Vida, which is located in La Placita in San Torce. De La Vida is an outdoor restaurant. It's called a resto bar. Um, but at the evening time on Sundays, they push like the tables out of the way and it's just big dance floors. It's two stories. So there's like a deck area and then an upper deck. The band, always live music, is on the upper deck and you could dance on both. The bottom floor is like a concrete uh, floor and then the top is wooden planks. Um, should you wear dance shoes, you're certainly welcome to wear dance shoes. There will probably be one person there <laughs> the whole evening wearing dance shoes. Everyone else will wear sneakers. Dance with whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you feel more comfortable wearing dance shoes, wear that. If you feel more comfortable wearing sneakers, wear sneakers. The dress code is like many things in Puerto Rico, which you will get 
everything. You will get people who are very dressed up and you'll get people who are coming from the gym basically. So <laughs> you can wear whatever you want. Usually I will wear like a little sundress or shorts and a cute top and my sneakers because you're going to get so sweaty. You're going to look like you just jumped out of the ocean. So just wear whatever feels comfortable. A lot of guys also will bring two shirts so that they can change halfway through because I'm not joking about the sweat. Truly, you will sweat. <laughs> De La Vida has a cover. It's $5 per person. You can pay with cash or card, so you don't like have to worry about having cash on you. You can also pay with your credit card. And then they serve drinks and food. Um, and that's De La Vida. Uh, as for social dancing, there's a lot of social dancers who go to De La Vida that's mostly like where the social dancers go when they're in San Juan. So if you go, you're not gonna have any issues finding someone to dance with you. There will always be people you can ask, people asking you. And it's a good mix of people who dance on one and two. If somebody starts dancing on something you don't recognize, follow, <laughs> just be a good follow because uh, they're probably dancing street style. So that is Sunday. Another place you can check out on Sunday is called Piso Viejo. Piso Viejo is located in Calle Luisa, very close to De La Vida. Everything in San Juan is close. It's maybe 10 minutes away. Piso Viejo is a restaurant, so there is air conditioning. However, if it's very crowded, you won't notice <laughs> that there's air conditioning because it will be very crowded and very hot and very sweaty. Um, Piso Viejo, sometimes doesn't have this. So I highly recommend checking Instagram before you go anywhere. Instagram is king in Puerto Rico and we'll tell you everything you need to know. Check their Instagram uh, before you go, otherwise you risk there not being anything, which again, not that big of a deal because the other place is 10 minutes away, but there's just really no point in you like wasting your time and energy, right? Piso Viejo does not usually have a cover. Um, so if they do when you go, then they've updated things, which everything is always subject to change, right? But usually they don't have a cover and they usually have live music when they have salsa night. So those are your two for Sunday. Mondays, we have salsa at La Factoria, which is a well-known bar that almost every person wants to visit when they come to San Juan. When you go into La Factoria, this is maybe the only place on the island that will ask you for an ID. So make sure you bring your ID, don't leave it at home. Uh, anywhere else on the island probably will never ask you for an ID, but La Factoria will without fail. So bring it. Um, when you go into La Factoria, you're gonna go walk all the way down the bar and then you're gonna turn left. You're gonna go through what looks like employee only doors. <laughs> They're like double doors. Employee only is what it looks like, but you're just gonna walk through it like you own the place. And that's gonna take you into a secret bar. And then you're gonna walk past that secret bar into another secret bar. And that is where the band is. And there's a band every single Monday night and it's free to attend. Um, it does get super packed in there, so you might have a, a hard time if you go to dance, especially during the peak hours, because um, everybody wants to go and enjoy the music because it's amazing. However, you're going to be knocking elbows. <laughs> There's going to be people stepping on your feet, knocking elbows. It's going to be pretty hard to dance until the crowd thins out a little bit and it gets to be a little bit later in the evening. After the band finishes, they still put on salsa music, so you can still dance afterwards and they stay open pretty late. La Factoria also has amazing cocktails. So if you like cocktails, it's a good place to go. And again, I don't know if I said, but there's no cover. As for like clothes and footwear, again, dress comfortably. A lot of people go there for drinks. So they're dressed like they're going for drinks. Um, but because it's so crowded, I would never recommend wearing your dance shoes because either you're gonna get a toe taken off or you're gonna take somebody else's toe taken. <laughs> you're gonna take somebody else's toe off. So wear sneakers, um, wear sneakers. <laughs> that is Monday. On Tuesday night, you can go to Echo Sports Park. This one you definitely will need to Uber to uh, because it's a little bit further out. And by a little bit further out, I mean, again, it's like another 10 minutes, but you definitely cannot walk there. Echo Sports Park has many soccer fields, has volleyball fields. It's a sports place that also has music and salsa dancing on Tuesdays. And this is where all of the dancers go. It is such a vibe. It is honestly so much fun. Um, the band plays from, I think, 9 to 11.30, and they do have a salsa class before social dancing starts, so you can definitely go and pick up some new moves before the social dancing starts. Entry is free, 
into the actual event, like into the sports park. The entry is free. However, you do have to pay for parking. The floor at Echo Sports Park is concrete, <laughs> pure concrete. So do not wear your dancing shoes because you will not be able to participate. <laughs> there will be no dancing happening for you. So wear sneakers, sneakers only. And because it's a sports park, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear something cute if you want. Um, again, this is a theme in Puerto Rico. Some people will come just to impress no matter where they are because this is their time to show up and show out, right? Other people are coming to like play football or like volleyball practice. So they're literally in their sports gear. You can wear whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable for you. I do the same thing I do in all of the other places, which means I either wear like a little sundress, shorts and a shirt, or sometimes I really do come from the gym, so I wear those clothes. <laughs> it all totally is up to you. The best time to get to, to, to Echoes, I would say it's like 9.45, unless you wanna attend their class. That's the only thing happening on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, there is dancing at Drift, which is in Piñones. Piñones is past Isla Verde, so again, you will have to Uber there for sure. And Drift and Piñones, which you should absolutely go to Piñones to go to the beach and have mofongo. But it is right on the coast and it has a really long boardwalk. It's really beautiful. This event is earlier in the evening. I believe it starts at 7 and it ends earlier as well. Like, it will be over by 10. So, don't delay on <laughs> this one. This is maybe the only place that like, I would say, you know, you can't you can't wait until a, a timely hour of like 9.30 or 10 to go. You're gonna miss it. So you need to go earlier in the evening. Like this would be a good time to go have dinner and then dance afterwards. And that is called Drift. It's outdoors, live music. Check their Instagram, check their Instagram. Thursdays, we are back to De La Vida, back to Piso Viejo. Those are your two places on Thursday. Again, it's just like it was on Sunday, so you can wear shorts, um, comfortable, casual clothes, $5 cover for De La Vida, for Piso Viejo, no cover. Check Instagram for Piso to make sure that it's happening. De La Vida, always it's happening. You can count on it. There's no need to check anything. That's Thursday. So that brings us to Friday. There's one place on Friday, which is called Que Rico. This is on Avenida Kennedy. And it is a little restaurant turned salsa bar in the evenings. I would say that the majority of the people who go to Que Rico on Fridays are middle-aged to a little bit older. The younger crowd typically doesn't go out for salsa on the weekends. The week is actually your time to dance socially. If you are in PR on the weekends, you're gonna have a hard time finding social dancing. So I'm just throwing that one out there. That is your time to perreo, okay? This is the time that we get the booty moving. Um, the hips had their time during the week and now the booty comes out on the weekend. But if <laughs> you are like dying, craving for some salsa on Friday, you can go to Que Rico. Usually though, it will not be live music. It will only be a DJ, probably DJ Miguel. He's like almost at every event and he's a great DJ. Uh, but it won't be live music and it will be an older crowd. Uh, that's Friday night, Que Rico. There's no cover there either. Um, dance shoes, don't wear them. Wear sneakers. Again, you're going to get a toe taken off or you're going to take somebody else's toe off. So just don't do it. Just leave your dance shoes. Leave them. Just wear sneakers. And finally, on Saturday, there's no set place to dance socially, salsa. However, the exception is that the Hotel Someone sometimes will have events. And when they have events, it is so fun to get dressed up and go to these events because this is a beautiful hotel. They have a massive stage with a gorgeous, 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 just everything aesthetic. Um, there'll be live music. It is such a vibe. You can absolutely wear dance shoes. It's very classy, very elegant. I mean, it is the moment, but it only happens when it happens. It's not like it's a weekly event. So you just have to check. You can go to the hotel's calendar of events and see if it's happening. Check Instagram as well, see what's going on there. There, I would not recommend that you bring a water bottle or anything because it just doesn't fit the aesthetic, right? Like this is like a, 
It's the moment, it's the moment. Everywhere else in PR, super casual, but if you go to Hotel San Juan, like you wanna, we're stepping it up a little bit, you know what I mean? So that's basically all of the social dancing in San Juan. If you're gonna be traveling to other parts of the island or even just to stay abreast of any events that are happening or anything upcoming on the calendar, like festivals, because these are very frequent in PR as well, you can go here and check out some more stuff. They do a really good job of updating the calendar so you know what's happening, not just in the metro area of San Juan, but also out and about in the rest of the island. So I hope this was super helpful. And if you have any other questions um, about customs for dancing in San Juan or like asking people to dance or, you know, anything really, <laughs> just let me know in the comments. And otherwise, happy dancing.